On the screen here, we have an image from the Android tablet connected to my PC to show you the new version 12 features of the Timer Pro running in an Android device. Up at the top here, you can see it does say Timer Pro version 12 right here. And what we've done is we've added a couple of options. The first one is a new template at the top here, which allows you to create your own templates directly on the device, as well as edit templates directly on the device. Previously, that had to be done via Excel and downloaded to the device. That requirement no longer exists. We've also added the option down at the bottom called Dropbox to allow you to pass templates to and from the device using the popular Dropbox service. In addition, if we go to the select templates here, you can see here we've got four sample templates that we provide to you with the version 12 product. You can open these up and start using them immediately. For instance, if I want to use a pick and pack, I would select the pick and pack. I click the use down here and it will return me to the main menu. And then I select create a new study. And in here, I'm going to give it a name. I will call it the demo. And then I will tell it, okay. And up comes the study ready to use directly on the device here. I hit the start button at the bottom left. And what I have here is a repetitive type study where all I have to do is hit the time button at the end of each activity and it will move on to the next activity in the sequence here. And notice also I do have a rating keypad on the right here and a quantity keypad. This we found to be extremely useful in particularly fast-paced environments such, such as a warehouse or a distribution center where you want to capture quantities. Everything is available to you right on the screen. And of course, you can configure the screen any number of columns, any number of rows that you wish directly in the data collection area here. The main enhancement in version 12 is in the new template area at the top here. This is where we allow you to create your own templates directly on the device. Now, if we look at the background here, you can see I have a study in the background here called sample picking. This is one of the samples we provide you with. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that as a source for my new development. So I'm going to tap on the select button to the right here. It will present to me the samples I have available. Of course, this is a sample picking I'm looking for. So I pick the sample picking and I say I want to use it down here. I touch the use. You can see up at the top here, it's gonna be called study one if I don't do anything. I'm gonna update that by typing in a new name right here. So I tap on that cell and I'm gonna call it pick. And then I'm going to hit the update and you'll see it's now called pick at the top here. Now down here, you can see I've got buttons here representing the elements, header, subject, data and notes. Those correspond, as you can see in the background, in the original source template to the tabs at the bottom here. Here's elements, header, subject, data, and notes. So you can change anything in here to your own exact needs here. So if you tap on the elements button, it brings up all the elements that you see in the background here. So if you look over here in the Excel sheet, get work order, get palette, travel to first location. Here's get work order, get palette, travel to first location. Now, the colors on the Android screen here are being set by the format setting over here. You can see clerical is causing the green color to appear. The main option, the maintenance, is causing the get palette color, a cyan, to appear. And the travel is causing the purple color to appear in the travel to first location here. Notice also we can have subcategories down here. Here's the element other. So you can see in here we've got meetings, talk to supervisor, talk to colleague, aside trash, etc. And if I scroll down on this, is by flicking up the way here, you can see other here. And here you can see my meetings, talk to supervisor, talk to colleague, aside trash. Everything is over here is now inside the Android device for you to edit as you wish. I cancel out of it on the Android device. I now want to go maybe to my subjects area here. And here you can see a picker one through picker 10. If I bring back up the, uh, the device here, I select the subjects button. And here you see picker one through picker 10 if I scroll down here. And of course we've got all the buttons down at the bottom to let you edit these as you wish to your own particular needs. I hit the back and go back. The same for the header. If I touch the header over here in the background, the screen changes, bring back up the Android device, and I go to the header option in the center at the bottom here. And look at row number one, task department shift warehouse. Whatever is in row number one becomes the prompts over here, task department shift warehouse. Now you can change the row number one entries by editing them right here. 
let's say I wanted to work with the warehouse and maybe add one or edit one of these. I can go to the button at the top right here and it presents the various groupings. Task Department Shift Warehouse. I obviously select the warehouse one and the variables will change to the options you see in column D here. Main, side one, side two, etc. coming down here. And you can edit those as you require as well. Take the back again. It's the same for the data down at the bottom here in the, uh, the data button. I go to the data sheet over here, bring back up the device, and then I can display the data to you. Whatever's in row one, quantity aisle clear rack, those are the prompts. Quantity aisle clear rack. So you can edit those, add to them and so forth. If you want to work with a particular one, let's say the aisle, which is column B here, and the aisle over here, I select the button at the top right, and I can then pick the aisle. And it will bring up the variables for the aisle that you can change as you have to. And of course, the last option over here is the notes. And I can bring back up the device again here. We go to the back and we select the notes. And the options that you see in the background here in the Excel sheet will now be available to you here for editing directly in the device. We also have an option down here called screen configuration. This is very, very important. This allows you to change the number of columns you have on your data collection screen, the number of rows. You can change the font size and the buttons. This is the buttons for the rating and the quantity keypads, and you can change the font size and the data. These are useful depending on the size of the device. You have the size of the screen, you can change it to make it fit here. Here, if you want to see the display rating and quantity keypad, you would just check this button right here, and that would put the, the rating and quantity keypad on. Then you can show reference numbers if you wish, or a stop on click, or a start on click. By default, we use the auto none, which, which means you have to make a selection of an element and then press the time button. But but in the fast-paced warehousing and distribution area, we see a lot of people selecting the auto stop on click option here. Uh, why? Because that's going to let them just touch the element at the end of the element and it will record it and move on to the next activity. So I've made a couple of changes here just with the keypad and the auto stop on click. I can save for this template here and then I can go back and I'm right back and now I can say do study. Click on the do study. It comes right up. And you can see I have my three columns with the rows. And then I have my rating keypad and my quantity keypad right here. I just hit the start button. And all I do is I touch the element as it finishes. So let's say the operator just gets the work order. I can just touch get work order. It records that activity. And now he's getting a pallet. I'm waiting until he gets the pallet. I'm just going to touch the button here. And it's going to end the element and move on to the next one. So this is a very good way of very quickly doing rapid time studies in the warehousing and distribution area here. Another key feature of the new template option up here is that we now support both time study and sampling studies in the same program. Previously, we had two different programs to do this. We had Timer Pro, of course, and Sample Pro. Now they've been combined into one program. So if I select the sampling here and I go to my settings over here on the right, here you can see that we're able to do a random sampling, a fixed interval sampling, or a user-defined sampling. A user-defined sampling is when you just sample when you wish to do it. There's no particular schedule. If you want to do a random sampling, you can see the prompts down at the bottom here. You've got a prompt time, uh, you've got a warning time, you've got an average time, and a minimum time. These parameters control how often the device will issue a beep, prompting you to go and make your samples. If you go to fixed interval sampling, in this case, we're working in seconds. You could work in minutes. So if I change this to 30 seconds, I might decide to change this here. So maybe I want to change it to five minutes. I can first go to minutes over here, and then I can change my value to five minutes. What will happen now, we'll get prompted every five minutes by the device to go and make a sample. So these are the key new features we've added in version 12 of the Timer Pro for the Android device.